Well, there is one thing that we did forget. That I forget. None, none of you. None of you did. <laughs> and probably some of you didn't even know what to do. But I definitely forgot the most important thing that we need to do. The summoning book. In order to uh, finish things off with the dragon, we need the summoning book. And for the summoning book, you just cannot take it from the uh, library. The thief will know that it has been taken away, and, uh, well, pretty much you would cause some kind of a time paradox and things would work the way they should. So, instead, we have to do a little switcheroo with the book. Now, the switcheroo with the book is done by with another book, of course, and we have only seen one book in the game so far. And that is the custard book that the witch has. It would have been easier for me to get it in the palace when she was there. But I forgot that you need the book. And, uh, well, since I couldn't get there, I was uh, almost worried that there's no way to get the book again. There are two ways of getting the book. One is at the palace when she's there, or two, when she's here. So all you gotta do is talk with her. And use the comical uh, response, or comical choice here. Because you want her to make that kissy-kissy face, you know, that she does. How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. And now that she's doing that kissy f man, yeah, damn it. Gotta remember, there's the custard book. When she's doing that kissy face, uh, that is when we borrow the book. How's the cute go? How could that Ooh. Eek. <laughs> No thanks. There we got it. Put it in the luggage. Done. Alright, we got the book. Now well, let's go do a little switcheroo. Switcheroo. You know what I mean. Switch the book. So we go to the past. One day in the past. Not much of a time machine when you think about it. So we take the custard book and use it on this book. Or rather, we. Yeah. Recogli Minto's never failing guide to dragon summonation. Oh, that sure is the way of getting What's it. What's this then? Definitive t Ah, crap. I did it wrong. Yeah, he saw that it's gone. And now... That does... Now we take this book and do it like this. Switcheroo! And there we go! So now the dragon book is actually the custard book. Recogli Mint. Hmm? The Secrets of Forbidden Confectionery, Volume 3, Love Custard for Beginners. Uh huh. So instead of getting the dragon summoning book, they will get themselves a custard making book. So that they will pretty much fall in That's love. That's two no traps. Fish. And yeah. Famine. Have you got uh nine? Hmm. Well, I accuse Colonel Horseradish in the library with a lead pipe. You're playing Go Fish. Um, are you sure we're all playing the same game here? What game are you playing? One's playing. Damn. I've forgotten what I was going to say now. One is playing Go Fish. One is playing Clue. That little Clue. idiot over there's ruined my concentration. Are you talking to talking to Rincewind? War? Is he one of yours? No, we're one of Deaths. Him? No, that's one of Deaths. Told you. You shouldn't let them run around loose like that, Death. Hi, Death. Nice to see you again. They could breed, and then you'll never get rid of them. That's what we do, humans breed. 
Want me to kill him for you? Eh, no thanks. Please let us live. No. No point, really. Why not? You want death? Have you got Mr. Bun the Baker? And you not until his oven explodes next week. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> So, yeah. If you cause a paradox, which is not putting the, uh... Not putting the, uh... Um, dragon Book in its place... Where the thief will get it from... That happens. You cause a time paradox and you see the four, hor four horsemen of the apocalypse playing cards. There we go. Gonna do the dragon summoning a lot differently this time. Hist! Hail, brother door opener. Can we skip this? Doorkeeper! We already seen this like a thousand times. Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Uh, everybody knows what they say now. So, well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. Yes, we know. And... A spy. Why is it so slow well, here? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Usually I can skip ahead by clicking the mouse, but it doesn't work here for some reason. That's why it's so slow. Open the blasted door. I didn't even need to click when with the four horsemen of the apocalypse. What's the password? They were doing just fine, but here it's slow for some reason. All right, lean closer. <sighs> we have to watch this whole sequence. It's spoons. Swordfish. I wonder how we're gonna hear how we are hearing this when I don't have the glass on the drain pipe. Right. I mean, we're we're not supposed to hear that. No. You didn't say Simon says. What? You did not say. Simon. You didn't say Simon says. That's what I said. Because I've heard this conversation way too many Open times. Open the door, or I'll kill you. Oh, the other password. <gasps> Ah, the other password. <sighs> Sigh. Mrahail, brothers! So something new, finally. Hail! I wonder why we went didn't go in there. Hail! And how are we hearing this through the door? Hail! <coughs> Hail! Hail! Rain! Hey, right! Hi ho! Snowstorm! I'm being funny! But once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. You should be calling yourselves the Brotherhood of um, the Brethren of Custom. But once again, we shall weave the webs of power. In love custard. Make a big buck with it. But if we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. We have heard this before. Get to the book already. Chucky, Chucky. Get to the book already. Hail. Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny. Yeah, we know. I thought it was my destiny. Yes, we know. Now, I finally know. Here, what a marine company. A new least... age shall dawn, my friend. At least I can skip these. Hail. An age of hail, an age of freedom, hail, a world where a man, hail, where cheap reap, yay, a place where low and compulsory smoke, hail. They're saying the same things as they did with the ritual. Brother Brigwit, brother Broom, I'm gonna bring out the components of the potion, brother Lightfinger. Lightfinger? They didn't say that before, during the ritual yes, where we were. Yes, brother Chuckle. Oh, the dark spirits of the universe. With this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. 
except now these um, eggs. Eggs. And this measure of corn flour. Are you sure? As we consign the potion to the flames. The boil and burn. Blaze and bubble. Wait. It says here. To simmer at low temperature for 15 minutes. Good grief. What the hell's going on? What exactly are we making? Custard. Lots of it, apparently. Have I ever told you how attractive I find you? Uh-oh. Oh, Chucky Chucky! Take the stick away. I really don't want to know what's happening in there. I'm gonna think we went to the Patriarch uh, in the next day. I have triumphed. Goodness overcomes evil once again. Indeed. The land is liberated. The serpent is gone. The dragon is dead. Awesome. The we... dragon is dead. I killed him. Me. We are the hero. I shall humbly submit to whatever fabulous rewards you feel I deserve. Mm-hmm. Dragon? Yep. The... Uh, don't be ridiculous. Dragons don't exist. Well, what? not anymore because we got rid of it. Quite so. And since no one believes in them, we can hardly reward you for disposing of one. Well, Next. Well, he does have a point. Hey, here, wait a minute. I slew a dragon. A real, bona fide, verifiable dragon. Now, Rins They don't exist. Yeah, Rincewind, you have defeated it. Yes, they do. But it didn't really get summoned. No, they don't. You didn't really summon it. Yes, they do! Because you stumped them from summoning the dragon. No, they don't. But you know that... The yes, they do! But you know the summon the dragon, Rincewind... No, is, they don't. ...is to believe in one. Yes, they do! And right now, you are actually... No, they don't. ...believing in the dragon, so... Yes, they do! You are pretty much digging your own grave here. No, they don't. And they are being childish. Yes, they do. How long are they gonna go? Do, 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 and do. I think you just. No, they don't. I think you're screwing everyone. They over. do. They exist if you believe in them. I was just telling you that. Ah. But no one believes in them. Except for Innocent. Yes, they do. Seem. No, they don't. He's believing in it, and soon the dragon. Yes, they do. Soon the dragon will appear. No, they don't. And cause mayhem once again. Excuse me. Thank you so very, very much. They do. Shut up, Rincewind. No, they don't. Rincewind, shut up about the they dragon. They do, they do, they do. Don't believe in the dragon. Dragons, you know, huge, vile, evil, stenchful, slavering. Enter the dragon. Yeah, I knew it would happen. That certainly sounds like a dragon to me. <clears throat> yeah. Hello again. Hello. Oh, well, when I say believe, of course, I meant mm, had heard rumors unsubstantiated. Nope. Yes, well, now I'm back. There's a few matters to attend to. You're still mad about the people who didn't summon you anymore? Oh. Or Sorry about the, uh, the slavering thing. A bit uncalled for, really. I think everything you said. <laughs> and I saw the luggage is in that yes. disguise. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. What are you going to do, then? Shouldn't you deal with him you now? You summoned it. You get rid of it. Yeah, and we are. Sorry. Well, here we go again. Yeah, thanks to you, Rincewind. You idiot. So, act three. <laughs> Brother. You're all guards. Custodians of the law, gods help us. <laughs> yeah, like they're gonna help. What do you think makes a hero? Well, a true hero doesn't know he's a hero, does he? I mean, it's all relative. How oh, do you mean relative? Well, it's kind of relative. It's like maybe you ought to get a relative to fight the dragon. 
Yeah, maybe a cousin or something. Oh, that's clever. I wish I'd thought of that. I don't think you think uh, of anything. You've got to be at least a corporal to have tactical ideas like that. Mmm, I'm um, sure. Oh, good grief. Look, all I want to know is... Have you got spare relatives, sir? Well, I have an aunt. There you are, then. Case closed. So we should get Rincewind's aunt. She's nearly 80. How old are you, Rincewind? Better than wasting a younger person, then. Aren't you... Yeah, cost the dragon will eat anyone. Yeah, aren't you lovely people? Right. Send an old woman to be eaten by the right. dragon. So everybody else will be saved and she'll be the Look, hero. We're getting sidetracked. How can I tell if someone's a proper hero? Well, a hero always knows what to do next. Yeah, always plan ahead. Does she? Or he? Who? His aunt. She's not the hero. His aunt's gonna fight the dragon? No, she's not. Uh, why did you Let's talk? hear it for a brave old lady. Why did you talk to these people, Rincewind? Shut up about my aunt. My aunt's not fighting the dragon. Yes. I <laughs> need a proper hero. I need a hero. You said your aunt was a hero. No, did we he didn't. say that? Corporal no. Nobbs, he said his aunt was a hero. No, you two idiots are making that I heard up. him. No, he, he didn't say. Oh, I'd be proud of her if I was him. Look, let's not start that again. How do you actually recognize a hero? They've got a birthmark. Means they're a king or what's name. All heroes do. That's what makes them heroes. So I need a birthmark. Has your aunt got one? Have you ever asked? How often do you write to her these days? Aren't you the quizzical one? What do you brave soldiers, brave soldiers, know about dragon slaying? I mean, what kind of chance would someone like me have against a dragon? You need a magical sword, maybe? Listen, mate, the odds of killing a dragon must be a million to one. Never tell me you the odds. You have to be a hero. So, tell me how to be so a hero. So, what are the odds of someone like me finding everything a hero has to have? What? Forget it, mate. The odds of you finding all that stuff would be... A million to one. A million to one? Yeah, that's it. I guess everything's gonna be a million to one with knobs. So yeah, this shows that we what we need. So we need some kind of a tattoo, a disguise, and a magical book. Those are three of the items that we need to be a hero. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon? One in a if million. If I had a birthmark. Dunno. You know. What do you think, Karras? I reckon that would be 75,000 to one. Wow, you can actually count. So if I had all of three items... See? So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I had a birthmark? And if I recited a magic spell? And if I was wearing a black mask? That one's tricky. I reckon that would be 375,000 to 1. How did it go higher when I just had a birthmark? Nobs, you don't even know what you're talking about, do you? Got anything to say, Carrot? So, you're a... Uh, uh, a dwarf. Don't let the... Well, I'll just move... He's got nothing new to say, huh? Okay. So... The dragon is not gone, because Rincewind is an idiot and decided to summon it by himself by believing in it. Like a stubborn idiot that he is. Way to go. Good on ya, mate. Good on ya. Ugh. Prince Winnet is an idiot, isn't he? A complete maroon, one would say. Can I now take the book? No, no, I can't see. Okay. Do I have anything to take, uh, again? No. And now I'm not gonna put the firecracker into the bucket. That doesn't happen. It doesn't work. Like Rincewind would say. 
So let's go back to Ankmore, Bork. And uh, let's go to the street. I'm sure that the bigger has done something uh, more horrible to him self. Like I said, like I remembered, he has cut off his own arms. Arms for the poor, sir? Ugh. Now it's gonna be arm oh, puns. Oh no! This time you've gone too far! I do have status now, sir. Yeah, that's the uh, limb. That's Torso Boy! Jeez. Is it helping business? Oh, yes, sir. The money's just rolling in. Aren't you afraid someone will take it? No, sir. No one would attack an unarmed man. Mm, this is gonna hurt. You're a loony. Oh, definitely a loony. He's, he's an idiot. He's insane. Everybody's an idiot. Oh, for heaven's sake. How did he get the second arm off? Wasn't easy, sir. Wasn't easy? It's a damn miracle! It's a good question. How did he take get the other arm off? Actually, I don't want to know, but I think I do know. He must have chewed it off, but how did he break... Never mind. That's not quite what I meant. But, sir, there's a fortune to be made in the limb loss market these days. How? It saves on housing, sir. I don't need high ceilings anymore. You don't need doorknobs either. There you are, sir. Now you're getting the idea. Look, just don't cut anything else off. Um, well, actually, sir... I just don't want to hear about it. Right, you are, then. He should cut off his own head and be done with it. I mean, seriously. Nobody in here. Okay. Well, the barber is still out there and waiting at the wishing well. I think there was something here. Funny sort of appointment book. Nice big pages, though. Funny sort of appointment book. An appointment book. Okay. And scissors. Gosh! The only ones they'll ever let me use at the University of the Ends all blunted off. I wonder why. Maybe because they don't want people to hurt themselves? Very stylish styling scissors. Indeed they are. Also very regular looking scissors. And eh, stupid. Stupid me. Clicking out of the clicking out of the uh, gaming window. And hello everybody, I haven't said hello to you people. There's um, it's apocalypse it loud cast. Hi, hi, hi. He seems to be doing a lot of fun better. Well, if times ever get hard, at least he can masquerade as one of the stock. Does he have a new kind of a silver belt or something? Mm, cute. Well, let's take the picture. Hey, you can never know when you need a good picture of a nice, cute-looking uh, octopus. I have absolutely... At least he has a new belt buckle. It looks like an eel. And then a belt buckle. I guess it's a silver eel. Or something. Good thing we don't need to talk to him ever again. We've done all we could with him. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if there's a new toy in the toy shop. There might be. You never know. Aha! There is. We have some kind of a dinosaur. A green stuffed lizardy thing. It, a dinosaur. Ah, prime soft toy dinosaurs. Kind of looks like Yoshi, but it's also modeled after the Loch Ness monster. Loch Ness Monster. Don't know why I said monster like that, but hey. Sometimes you do say things very differently. And blah, 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 blah. I don't think there's anything new at the library. Better go to the square. There's always something new here. Yeah, one of them is now definitely dead. Aha! Crocus Gittus. Or the common old garden boring old codger. I like that word. It's codger. a man's life in the city watch. Vacancies for trolls, dwarves, gnomes, and undead. Be a man in the city watch. Undead. They'll even hire undead. I don't think that would be a good idea for the city watch. Not in for sale. One owner only. Low mileage. Apply after dark to Baron Not Farato, Elm Street. <laughs> Not Farato in Elm Street. You're mixing two things there. Nosferatu and uh, Freddy Krueger. That doesn't work. 
Oops. Make money in your spare time. Apply to Ankmore Pork City Mint, Outworkers Department. That doesn't sound like a good idea. It's him! M -m old, um, old, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, the hero. Him? The hero? I still say you're wrong. Well, it's, it's hundreds to one that a little wimp like him could take out a dragon. Oh, just, oh, just hundreds. Nob said it was million to one. But if you say hundreds to one, hey, I'll take it. Maybe you old hero people will tell me how to be a hero. Where's your friend gone now? Slumming. What, is that him in the grave? He's only shamming. Wants to see who turns up with flowers. Look, I really think you ought to call a doctor or something. I think he might be quite ill. No, don't play along with it. It'll only encourage him. You're all buffoons. As heroes, I mean real bona fide heroes, don't you think there's something useful you should do? Yeah, like, do? yeah, go after the dragon. Are we invited to a do? Oh, no, do. Take action. Fight against oppression, that sort of thing. Or the slay a Long dragon. Long time since I last went to do. There was custard, I remember. And sausages on pearls. No, I mean, shouldn't... Shouldn't we all band together against the dragon? Finally, you... A <laughs> band? Are they having a band as well? No. Canopies. That's what they call them. Stuck in a pineapple. Very cultural. <sighs> I wonder if we're invited. Really are old codgers. Seriously. I really do think we ought to get organized about this dragon. Quite right. Absolutely. But I told him you won't find one around here. There is one. In the palace. The city's built on loam, you see. You've got to go up to the mountains to find them. But there's one in the palace. We saw them. Find what? what? What are you talking about this time? Actually, yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, rocks. Uh, you, you need a rock. A rock and some bombs. For or what? stocks. I've got some 10% stocks in a company somewhere. We're Can't say I want a dragon to eat them, though. Yeah, no sharecropping here. A virgin tied to a rock with bonds. You have to have it. It's tradition. Why is tradition so important? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Yes, we are. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Yes, we are. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Yes, we are. Why? Uh, because uh, human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Yes. Why? We are. Uh, because uh, human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. We are. I'll give in. You've got more practice at this than me. <laughs> Oh, you don't get to my age without being open to old ideas. And that's not how it works. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Yeah, I'm calling you. Roy Swint, get out of there. Seriously. He's just sleeping. That shingle looks different. The art of signposting is apparently long, long dead. Looks very different from before. It's got magic on it. Like a neon sign. <sighs> Ooh, eggs! Run, eggs. <laughs> oh, hello, mouse. <laughs> I guess he got hurt from the last time when I hit him with a tomato. That was a snake egg? The old magic markings on the snake trick. The old magic markings on the snake trick. Didn't know that that was some kind of a trick. Now let's also take a fresh egg. Hmm. Well, this egg seen better days. So did the other. It, has, it had a snake in it. I'm sure I've seen him around the place before. I wonder if he was the one who tried to sell me shit. All right. What are you selling this time? I'm curious. Weight loss, sir? I beg your pardon. Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? Whale? Look, 
What are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Leecho Suction Weight Loss Programme, sir. Guaranteed to turn a hippo into a nymph in just one year or your money back. Let me guess. You're proposing using leeches to suck out someone's fat. Beauty can be yours while you wait, sir. But the leech is a hematoparasite. What, sir? It drinks blood. It doesn't gobble up cellulite. A little leech can't make you lose any weight. Depends how much blood it takes, sir. You'd be surprised. Whoa. It's all guaranteed. Lose weight in one year or your money back. Here, have the leaflet. It says here that the management reserves the right to define one year according to any local calendar it sees fit. That's right, sir. But the Trumelian calendar year is 311 months long. Really, sir? Well, look, seeing as how you're a friend, I'll do you a discount. I'm cutting my own throat, but... Look, I don't need a weight loss system. Have you thought about the future, sir? I mean, you could remove weight now and store it for use in the future. That's could a good idea. Could cut down on grocery bills, sir. Mm, good idea. Give us a bag. No, I don't think that's very practical. Well, our medical practice now offers a variety of other services and cures, sir. I'm sure it does. I've got wart treatments, rheumatism. Here's a potion guaranteed to cure blindness. But I'm not blind. You see, sir, a miracle cure. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Oh, well, sir, perhaps we can do business in the future. Ah, could you tell me about that leecho suction thing again? Careful one, would you, sir? Cut price, I'm cutting my own throat. OK, then, couldn't do any harm. As if I haven't had enough exercise of late. Thank you for the bag, finally. A paper bag of leeches. Groovy. Leeches. Ah. Nothing like an invertebrate to get you going in the morning. That's a... Uh, that's not how... You. A brown paper bag. Do we need to suffocate somebody with the paper bag? Didn't they offer any ideas for being a hero? Or was it the Virgin on the Rocks thing? It was the Virgin on the Rocks thing. That adds to the list of heroic things you can do to be a hero when you talk to knobs again. And there's a few other things that we need to collect about uh, being a hero. So we just talk uh, talk to people and ask them uh, what it is to be a hero and they will tell us uh, some aspect of it and then we go and ask knobs that... Hey, do we do this to be a hero? 